Yeah. Aloha. How you doing? This is Gordo the Tech Star here. Welcome to another exciting episode of Hibachi Talk. Phase two, as we talk about the high cost of healthcare insurance. When Hibachi talks, the world listens. Rick's the fun meister is here. So um, we're getting to, we're having a discussion on why healthcare insurance is going up so much. Uh, we don't have the answers. We have opinions on this and we're hoping that more and more people yeah. get engaged in this and start to tell us you know, help us help us understand why it's so much. So we left. You left a dangling participle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were mentioning that the Obamacare has thirty four thousand. Yeah, I think say, it was thirty some odd thousand. Yeah. Let's right. let's just say thirty five thousand. Yeah. That is, um, but I'm I'm my my thought on that is that a lot of those members, if you will, or people already had health care through right. the prepaid health care So act. they already had health care through the how prepaid. Many, yeah, how many new people were employed in Hawaii that were uninsured before because of, and then chose Obamacare because they were individuals right. or had a small company? So, and I, I remember a number, but this goes back to, you know, the very, first, you know, several months of Obamacare back in what the 2013, 2014, that in there. And there's a number in the back of my mind that was about five to 8,000 new members. New members. Who never had health care before. Before that. Now. So, um, so, so hold that, hold that. So, so five, is that a big number? 5,000 to 8,000, okay. We yeah. spent, we spent tax that, dollars. Yeah, that's my recollection. That's old data. That's so. old data, but it's old data. But let's just use that. Let's say it was yeah. 10,000. I don't care. Let's say it was 100,000. Mm -hmm. I'll just pick that number. It's not 100 because there are only 35. There is, but I'm just, I'm just going to throw <laughs> that number up because yeah. I'm, I'm lobbying up this, this, this ball here. Yeah. We did not need Obamacare in Hawaii. No. We did not. We had the Prepaid Health Care Act. Exactly. So first of all, I don't even know why our legislators decided to go down that path. Then we dumped $100 million into a computer system that failed and had to get shut yes. down. So here we now, so, so wait a minute. I'm watching my insurance rates go up like this. Who paid for that $100 million? Where did it come from? Yeah. It came out of your and my pocket to pay $100 million for a system we didn't need that we ended up shutting down. Right. To, to ensure... How many people? That's why I said, make it 100,000. Yeah. That doesn't matter. We yeah. could have just paid their medical bills. Yeah. And, uh, and here's, here. I know you are. I'm getting but, a little agitated. And, there, and there's two parts <laughs> then to my answer on that. Okay. Is, um, one is the funding did come from, or I think the bulk of the funding came from the Fed True, but as part to cover. Where did the Fed but, get the money? But, yes. And so, but that's all of ours and all of our listeners, yeah. federal tax yeah. at work yeah. to, to, federal dollars to fund a failed system. system. The other thing that I will, will tell you, though, so is that the, the company that the state chose to implement that system also implemented that same Obamacare in several other states across the nation. And there were numerous lawsuits Numerous, numerous lawsuits, lawsuits across the that. nation yes. for, to, to these companies that were involved right. in failed implementation of Obamacare, which, by the way, if right. people don't realize that under the new um, tax laws that got passed, yes. our new tax was went in, Obamacare, the, uh, the tax, the fine, which is really yeah. a tax that you would pay by not having health care insurance, is, is gone. 2019... Right. That, that penalty, which they call a fine, which is really just a tax yes. for, for not having insurance, um, is, has been wiped out. So that's no longer yes. going to be there. So yeah. you don't have to have Obamacare. Right. And so the question is of... <laughs> Who's paying of, for this? Yeah. And see, I, I just... That's the conundrum that I have in my mind is why has it gone up? Because I don't believe Obamacare is covering all that many more you know patients in Hawaii so has it has it been a failure in Hawaii that there are still a lot of people who are uninsured right and there still are and there are we have a, a large homeless right. group and I'm sure they file their yeah. tax return every right. uh, 
before April. I'm sure they're at the post office putting in their tax right. return. <laughs> but but those homeless people, they've always been with us. Now, have they, you know, what was the number? Maybe 1,500 or something? Is that what it came to or something? Yeah, they're doing a count it? right now. They're yeah. doing the homeless count. A, yeah. the, the, the in, and the they call the in-place yeah. homeless count. Yeah, and the I know that the, in, the percentage of of our population that are homeless is, I believe, the highest in the nation. It's highest in the nation, yeah. So, again, we're okay. first again. But is it growing that much? And is it is it growing? It might be growing as a percentage, but in just a, a number. Is it growing by 500 new people? Or is it 20,000 new yeah. people? Yeah. I don't think it's Who those knows? big 20,000 people. But is it large enough to actually drive the kind well, it, of health care increases that we're seeing. It's going to it's, drive the cost that the hospitals, outpatient, or, or the, the EMR, yeah. the, e EMR, the uh, emergency rooms right. are going to take. Those are being absorbed by the providers. Yes. Right? They've got to absorb and them they've somehow. they've got to get paid. They can't turn somehow. around and bill someone for someone that right. walks in that doesn't have um, any, right. any insurance. So, so to my mind, in my my devious way, I go like, right. then why do I have? Why do I need insurance? Why don't I just yeah. walk in? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to walk and now in. You can. And I, I, <laughs> I, I can. I can. Why not just you walk don't in? Have to have just say I don't have any money. Anymore. I'm broke, yeah. you know. And um, I'll walk in and I'll get. I'll be in the bed next to you. Yeah. You'll take your chances, <laughs> it, it, which I'll, is not I'll, really I'll, where I want to go. No, or I, I would suggest no, you do. No, not either. But neither but, do they really, but do they really care? It may be the first three good meals a day that they've got in a long time. Now we're picking on the homeless, so we should let's not pick yeah. on them too much because no. they, they have. But I just they, don't understand. What is it? The homeless, because I, if I think, it is, I think they're a piece of it. Yeah, they're a piece of it. But I think it's the but, drug companies. I'm going to pick on them it too. May well be the I high cost know. of drugs, all these new um, medications that are coming out. Um, I'm, I've always had heartburn for commercials on television. By drug companies, mm -hmm. I really that those those just really irritate the heck out of me. You know, you you've seen them, right? Yeah. We're at the gym and oh, comes yeah. an ad for On such television. and such, and the side yeah. effects far outreach the benefit, the value of the drug yeah. in some cases. You yeah. think? Um, so I think that it's that. You know, I listen to Pandora and I you know get it on Pandora yeah. and you know all. So all of those, all and those advertisements yeah. cost money. Yeah. And where does the cost of those well advertisements and I, go? And I think that because there are so many of those, I bet you they're pretty effective, which means that yes. there's going to be a lot more people using those drugs. They're sitting at home, right, yeah. watching, you know, uh, the soap operas. I call it the edge yeah. of wetness. Yeah. So they're, you know, the young Ox, and the useless. Yeah. I don't see that. Oxycontin on there, but we know <laughs> that there's just been a huge, you know, increase in Oxycontin. I've, I've got to give it to... Uh, to uh, Who's uh, Trump? <laughs> Who's our president? Yeah, to Donald Trump. I mean, he came in and he said something's got to be done about OxyContin. Yeah. And he's forced his administration, you know, to do it. And I shouldn't say force. I don't think he's, you know, he's given that to his secretaries to force the government to implement changes well, for I things think like Oxycontin and other things. Is that just a whole huge problem with our, our drug industry? Oh, I think it's a, it's industry. a, it's a, it's a, a national societal issue. I, yeah. I, think, I think, and based on my personal experience, I think that, that, that doctors, and, and I, I love them all, they over they prescribe. Absolutely. They over prescribe. Um, when you know, and I've had like you know surgeries for knees and those kinds of things, yes. and they 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 give you a prescription for pain meds. I can tell you right now, 95% of the pain meds I've had for knee surgeries, um, you know my hand surgeries and such, are still in the bottle. Yeah. So, but I had to pay my copay on them. Um, now someone else may not have a high pain threshold, mm -hmm. so they need. To, but they're sitting there. So yeah. I'm thinking, what about? pre-packs, right? Give me yeah. three. Exactly. And if I need more, yeah. I'll, if I need Come more, back. I'll call Talk and I'll me. go get another pre-pack. Yeah. yeah. And Amazon could deliver it to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which by the way, I got to bring that up too. So here's, so I, so let's talk, bear with me one second here. So Amazon has a million employees. I only got one minute. Amazon's got a million employees 
Amazon is seriously yes. looking at starting their own insurance company and insuring their own employees yeah. through their own company. Yes. What my, I predict here, you watch, within a year or so, Amazon is going to be offering insurance plans to the citizens of the United States. Yeah. You'll be able to buy your insurance plan in at Amazon. Okay, you've yes. got 15 seconds for your last commentary, and then we got to close. I don't have enough to do the last commentary, other than we need to get more people talking about this issue right. and getting true experts and smart people to answer these questions. Yes. Because it's we we as individuals, but we as a society can't have this these kinds we can't sustain it's these not increases. it's not sustainable. Companies will close or they'll go to part time employees. Mm -hmm. They'll have to do something because they will not yes. be making enough money to justify why they're even in business. Right. And our health care system, which is a good system, especially here in Hawaii, yeah. will fall apart. It will fall apart. Anyway, so Gordo the tech czar. Rick's, Rick's the, the fun, fun meister. meister. I still remember your name. <laughs> Rick's the fun meister. We're talking about high cost of health care in Hawaii. But, you know, watch this show and get yourself agitated about it and start asking questions. Don't yeah. be so passive now. Make some noise. Talk to your legislator. Talk to anybody. Talk to your doctor. Call us. Hibachitalk.com. Yeah. Gordon.Bruce at Outlook.com. Just come and send, me, send us a message and we'll find out. Anyway, Rick, it's always been a pleasure. Thank you. We'll see it's you again fun. next week. Yes. We have a healthcare expert, I think, coming in next week, too. I hope so. Maybe he can tell yeah. us what's going on. And like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How, how are you, you doing, doing with your healthcare costs? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You and I, I that's why I don't, I don't worry about not having a guest.